All right, I wanted to take a few minutes and show you how to uh, create this pen drive using a helical sweep. sweep. Um, again, I am no expert at this. I just learned how to do it today, but I found very few videos out there that explained it and they, that made sense. So I'm going to do my best to make sense of it. Um, so anyway, this is what we're, we're trying to create. This is what the finished version is going to look like. And so let's get right to it. The first thing that you need to do, um, go ahead and open up a new file, a new part. This is a, a part, not an assembly. Um, and we want to go ahead and sketch out our cylinder to start out. So I'm going to do sketch it out on the top plane. And I'm going to make a sketch with a circle. Hit this button here and it'll bring back my sketch view. And we want the cylinder to be 13 millimeters and then we're going to go ahead and extrude this cylinder and it needs to be 11.684 millimeters I went through with my calipers and I actually measured all of this out so that's why I'm putting some crazy numbers in there um, so now that we have our cylinder there this isn't the entire cylinder this is actually just from this point to this point. What we'll do at the very end after we've we've made these teeth is we'll go back and extrude these ends to make it a complete um, piece. So, and again, there might be an easier way to do this, but this is the way that I I learned to do it, and it made sense to me. So, either way. So our next step is we're going to go up here to a sweep. We're going to click on this arrow, and we want to make this. And I hope I'm pronouncing this right, but a helical helical sweep. We click on that button and uh, it's going to go ahead and take us to this uh, sweep plane, uh, panel. And the first step is to go ahead and select our reference and we want to define our plane. So we click the define button. We click, we, we want to select our plane which we're going to use this this uh, top plane. And I apologize, we don't want to use the top plane for that. We're going to use we're going to use this uh, we're not using the top plane, I apologize, we're using the right plane. Okay, and then we hit sketch and it'll take us to the sketch uh, panel. So we're going to hit this button here and it's going to go ahead and bring us to our sketch panel and we want to go ahead and draw a line. Now when I click on this line button uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from this edge down to the bottom. In fact, I'm going to zoom out here a little bit. And I'm going to draw it from here straight down. And I actually want this line to extend down a little bit past the bottom. Middle click, and now I've got a line here. Okay, And you'll notice here it has an arrow. Now what this is doing is it's establishing a, a beginning point and an end point. Okay, it says, that, it says that they're both end points, but this is where this is where your uh, sweep is going to start and this is where it's going to end. Now the reason why I want mine to start up at the, above the top um, is so that I can, ex it's just the way I looked, I don't even know how to explain it, but when I, uh, <laughs> when I looked at the part that's just what made sense to me. We're going to start it up here and we're going to have it spin all the way around and then it will cut off the top. Okay, so here we go. Um, the next step After we have our line drawn, as we go ahead and click OK, which takes us back out of that sketch panel and back to the helical sweep panel. So now that we have our line drawn here, we can go ahead. The next step is to go back here to this reference uh, panel, and we want to select our axis. This is what we're going to rotate uh, this, this tooth around. So we click here, and we want to select the axis here in the middle. And you can see here that it's now selected and it gave us a pitch up here. Now pitch is the distance between each, te each tooth. Um, it's a, we're going to choose the distance that's the distance between these, this, the length of the cylinder basically. Um, so now that we have uh, selected our, our, our uh, axis, we can go up here to this button, the Create or Edit Sweep section. We click on that and what this is going to let us do is go ahead and draw out our tooth. Now I just realized something. I just messed up, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel out of that and go back to where I was before. Um, what I did wrong, I'm gonna go back to references 
and I'm going to go back to edit. And when I was on this uh, panel, my numbers here were they were not solid. Um, they were just what I sketched out. So I need to make sure my numbers are accurate. Now, since the diameter of this cylinder right here is 13 inches, I want to have this line be right on the edge. So I'm going to double click on that and make it uh, six and a half. Now it's solid right along the edge. Okay. Now I want uh, this ending tooth where the where the tooth is going to stop. I want this to be exactly half of a tooth length length out. So I'm going to make that one. 0.609 millimeters um, because my tooth is actually going to be 3.2 millimeters um, wide and you know, this will make more sense in a minute but I want it to, to extend about halfway down and then uh, the whole length um, the length of the cylinder plus one tooth because I want it to start one tooth length, ab length above the top uh, will be so my total distance is going to be 16 point five one zero three millimeters okay um, and again if that's if that doesn't make sense the way I just did that again we want this line to be right along the edge of the cylinder we want it to go one tooth length above the top and a half a tooth length below the bottom and then I added all those stuff together to get our final number here okay so now that I have those set I can go ahead and hit OK and now I can go ahead and uh, hit my my sketch button here which is going to allow me to go ahead and sketch out my tooth okay so I actually have flipped it upside down so uh, I'm gonna have a, a, my whole tooth length on the bottom and my half tooth length on the top so now I'm at this the sketch pane uh, I'm gonna go ahead and please forgive my graphics card it does that to me sometimes uh, but I'm going to go ahead and draw a line that it goes. Remember, I said my, my tooth is going to be 3.2173 millimeters wide or tall. Okay. And so now I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and just sketch it out real quick. So. I'm going to find the middle of my tooth. I'm going to sketch just a, a construction line out, and that line needs to be 2.5, 3.566 millimeters. And the only reason I know that is because I measured it out with my calipers. So now that I know where the top of this, this line is going to be, now remember, when you look at this part, these these are not pointed at the top there's a flat edge and so that's what I'm making here um, I'm gonna go ahead and draw one of those edges and those need to be 0 0.508 millimeters long and I'll do the other one the same length then we'll connect these guys Okay, so now we've got our first tooth made. All right, the next step, after we've got that tooth drawn out, we're going to hit OK, and uh, it'll take us back to uh, the, the sweep panel. Um, so now the next thing we need to do is we need to define our pitch. Now the pitch is the distance from the top, or I guess we would say the bottom in this case, the bottom of this tooth to the bottom of the next tooth as it's coming around the, uh, the cylinder. And in, in this instance, we want the pitch to be the length of this cylinder. We want this to spin all the way around the cylinder once, and when it gets back around to the same point, it will have gone all the way from this point to the other point. Um, and so in order to do that, we want to make the pitch the length of this cylinder. And the cylinder is 11.684 millimeters, so 11.684. 4 millimeters. When I hit enter, it will go ahead and create my pattern for me. And if you were to measure this out here, um, the, the bottom of this is hitting the bottom right here. So it, after it's made one complete revolution around, it's, it's met up. And that's why our pitch is, is 11.684.
hopefully that makes sense. Now, so far, the, this does not look like the, uh, the part in the, the picture that I showed you. And that's because the part in the picture, it actually has three starting points. Okay, it's not just one continuous um, corkscrew. It's got three of them on there if you were to examine it close. And uh, trust me, I did. So the next step, we're going to go ahead and hit OK here because this does look the way we want it. It looks like the corkscrew. So now our next step is we're going to go ahead and make a pattern of this. We want to pattern it three more times. So I'm going to make sure I've got this, this sweep selected. Nope, selected. We're going to hit the pattern button. And we want this to go, okay. So we want, we want the pattern to go at, we want two more starting points. We want to take this, this um, extrusion or this, this sweep and put another starting point about right here and another starting point about right here. So the way we're going to do that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to, we're going to pattern it. But we're going to pattern it around an axis. Okay, let me zoom in here. We're going to take that piece we're going to put it around this axis. We want it to have a total of three copies. That's the original plus two others. And then when we click this button right here, that selects our, our uh, three different patterns to go around a 360 degrees. So if you look here, they are, exact, they are exactly uh, 130 degrees apart because 360 divided by 3 is 130. So when I hit OK, it should go ahead and, and configure that and now we have our corkscrew. We have our uh, part. Now it doesn't quite look like the part in the picture yet and the reason why is because we still need to extrude these ends and these ends and then we need to extend the actual cylinder out in the middle. Okay. Um, so the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to so first of all I want to go ahead and uh, I'm going to select this this plane here and I'm going to put a sketch on there and let's go ahead and go to our sketch view now if you'll remember um, I told you before that this cylinder the diameter I apologize about my graphics card it's an older computer but uh, the original cylinder was 13 millimeters so let's just make that a, a solid 13 okay and then I'm just gonna make one more circle here a little bit bigger and hit OK so now I've got that that part sketched out I'm just going to extrude it and I'm going to cut that piece off so now it looks kind of goofy um, that's because I've cut it but I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to draw another sketch on this plane Okay sketch it out and I'm going to draw another circle there I hope you're following me and this isn't too confusing and again I'm going to draw that circle to 13 millimeters and this time I want to extrude it 6.333 millimeters that's that's what the calipers tell me and now it's starting to look a little bit more like the original, but I have to do the same thing to the other side here. So let me finish with that extrude. I'm going to do the same thing with this piece. I've selected it, and now I'm going to go ahead and draw that 13 millimeter circle. Oh, no, what did I just do? Sorry about that. 13 millimeters. And I want to do the same thing to the outside edge so we can cut it off. Okay, that works. And then we will just extrude that piece and we'll hit the cut button. And now it is cut. Okay, so we have that piece. We have this piece which is cut off. And again, we're going to Put a, one last sketch on there. Go to sketch view. Put a circle on. If you remember right, 13 millimeters is correct. 
hit OK. Now we have that, that uh, sketch on there. We'll extrude this one out. We're going to make it the same. 6.333 millimeters. Hit OK. And now we have our piece. Now, of course, there. Are, if you were to look really close at the original, we would need to, to trim this part down on each edge. I'm not going to do that right now. And of course, you would need to go in here and cut out your circles, cut out your bolt holes. Um, but for the most part, we have our corkscrew here. And with the completed assembly, almost completed, I still need to do one more part to it. But uh, you can see that it is now inside the, uh, the uh, housing. And it drags perfectly. So this is our finished product with its bolts and, and uh, pins and it's all set. So good luck. I hope that helped. I hope I didn't just confuse you more. Um, but uh, put some time in it, you'll figure it out.